I got a box from Kentucky. Thank you, John. Let's see what we got in here. Shredded cardboard. Wow, thank you. That's cool. Let's see. Let me read this. Yes, sir. I'll do that for you. I'll uh, put you on the list as soon as I get done showing this. Alright, let's see. Oh boy, look at this. I'm going to save that and reuse it. Absolutely perfect J. Nell Skinner crown stags. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you, sir, very much. Yep, I can use those. Well, that was a nice cow horn there, wasn't it? That's what we call them, cow horn. Very nice. Yep, anybody that, if we trade out horns or you send me horns or something like that, if you can, cut them like this. That's the easiest way to send them, instead of trying to send whole racks. Because I really can't do nothing with the skull. Just leave the crown on it. Plus, they pack in a much smaller box that way. If you can. If not, it don't matter. I can cut them myself. It's just easier to ship them that way. Alright, thought I'd show you all those. I've never seen that for packing material. That's a good idea. Thank you, John. I appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. I'll uh, put those to use. And I'll do that one for you. Probably be next week before I can start on it. But uh, I'll get it done. <coughs> I'll have some finished stuff to show y'all. Maybe this evening. I'll just tag them on to this here. Very cool. I got another package. I actually got this one yesterday. And this one's from my buddy Larry over at St. John's, Florida. Due east. That way. Uh, thank you very much for these, buddy. These are yo-yos. Set them on the trees. Of course, you got to put a weight and all on. When the fish bites, he'll bite it. Well, well, I'm holding on to it like that, and it'll snap up and set the hook for you. These are nice circle hooks. And these come from Arkansas. Now these, if you read the book, the Florida regulations, these are not legal in Florida. But they told him where he lives that you can use them. I called FWC and they said you can use them if you're on the, from the bank in the county you live in. But not from a boat. You can use them. Now that that um, explanation came from an officer from the FWC, which is probably she was in Tallahassee. That sounds exactly like the cane pole 
law. I don't know if she knew what I was talking about. So I know a warden here that I run into him every now and then. I'm going to try to look him up the next day or two and make absolutely sure that I can use these. And um, they work. Absolutely, they work. Uh, friends of mine over in Louisiana, they use them all the time. And um, they work well. But I've always been under the impression of reading the law that they're not legal. But they told him they was legal. And then she said, that the explanation she gave me, I'm not buying that. I'm not going to, I'm not going to um, go with that until I talk to an officer face to face. And I'm going to put them in the truck. So I got them with me all the time and I'm going to show him. Now I appreciate them, Larry. I really do. And if they are legal, and if I can use them without getting in trouble, they will be set here within the next couple of weeks. As soon as the river goes down, I'll go and I'll put them out and use them. Because I'm due a fishing trip anyway. But anyway, thank you, sir. Getting all these packages in, and man, I just I don't know what to say. Thank you. I've got my eyes peeled now for the UPS man that's bringing me the steel that I ordered few days ago. It should be here today or tomorrow. Uh, nothing else. I'll run him down on the road to see if I can find out where my stuff's at. And to Larry, I am... That's yours right there. That camp knife. I'm etching your blade right now. And I've showed two or three blade etching videos, so I won't go through all that. But This is yours. And when the steel gets here and your uh, fillet knife will be in there and a couple other fillet knives and the bamboo knives and Andrew's knife and <laughs> a lot's riding on that steel so uh maybe I'll have something finished to show y'all in just a little while we'll see look who's here he won't look at the camera now Hey everybody. <laughs> he is sporting his new Wallace Knife Works t-shirt. How about that? And even on the back. How about that? I've got stuff to make mine. I just haven't done it yet. He are working on C's for these fancies that I showed you the other day. The regular dude and one for Chris, Chris Souders. Yes, we just watched the video of him and the regular dude out catching catfish and throwing them back. And Master Sergeant said his freezer is empty because he's done eat up all his fish. So um, he's not real happy with y'all right now. You don't want to hear what I called you. <laughs> and it wasn't hillbilly either. It was a. Uh, not PG, <laughs> we put it that way. That's right, not family friendly. Yeah, let's see, let me see the front of that one. That one? Yeah, get a good close look at it. Chris, that's yours. Now that's a trout, because that's the only fish stamp that I have right now. I'll get a catfish one day and put on there. And that is for the regular dude. Now these are Master Sergeant Creation Shees, so. think you like them. If you don't like them, I'll send you his address and you can send a complaint. You don't like them? <laughs> I think to say, be careful, behave. <laughs> no, you'll like them. They're going to look real nice when they're all sewed up. That way you can carry them on your belt if you want to. Because those, uh, those, some of those blue cats y'all was throwing back would make some awful nice knife sheets. Just saying, you know. Yeah. No yeah. well, but... Yeah. Oh well. Alright, we'll get some more some more work finished up here and uh, we'll show you that in the end. Alright, got a little finished up stuff we want to show y'all right quick. Uh, Andrew in Ohio. Remember that knife I told y'all about that um, was uh, made out of a piece of steel from a World War II ship? There you go. Now we did put a brass finger guard on there. 
thought that'd be the safe way to go. Feels real good. I hope you like it. Now the blade, all I did on the blade was I rubbed it down with steel wool and buffed it out. Because all those marks that's in there from the original maker, I didn't want to take those out. Now this steel seems to be a little bit soft, which is fine if you're just going to cut meat with it and that kind of thing and butcher with it. That's just fine. I didn't want to take a chance on heat treating it and having it crack or something like that because I don't know what it is. But um, that's why I decided to leave those marks and all in there. There's no rust on it, so that's that's a good sign. I did put an edge on it with a micro belt, very very fine belt, and it is very very sharp, really sharp. Yeah, yeah, Master Sergeant felt of it too, and it's yeah, it's sharp. So be please be careful with it. We'll send it back to you just like that. We'll wrap it in cardboard, put a cardboard sleeve on there, but um, I think it came out real nice. Beautiful, beautiful. And I'm going to send you back the old handles, um, the pieces of antler I had to cut off and make a couple of nice buttons for your sheath maker up there, might want to use those for something. Alright, what else we got finished up? I had a Wallace 2 I was going to show you, but it was already... It, the guy came by and picked it up this morning before I got a chance to show it. But anyway, y'all seen Wallace twos before. It was nice, nice. Now this one here is for a fellow named Henry Ford Jr. <laughs> Actually, his name is Master Sergeant Jr. This is for Jason, Master Sergeant's son. We talked about building the knife for a long time. And we think he's big enough now where he won't get hurt with one. <laughs> he's over here cracking up. But we thought we'd make you one. There you go. I made the knife and handled it. Uh, your dad shaped the handle for you. Shaped it with a file. Done it all by hand. And... Seriously, very seriously, be careful with it. It's very sharp. Put a very sharp edge on it. So, uh, there you go. And also, your dad made the sheath also. Actually made it before we ever went to Ohio. A couple months ago. Yeah, we did. And it is a left-hand sheath. It's for you. They won't charge anything extra for that. <laughs> Who's this wee white man? You got a mouse in your pocket. We. <laughs> anyway, the only thing you have to pay for this knife, first you have to take back that Jeep comment you made to your pops. And you have to say one positive thing about a Chevrolet. That's all. If not, you can't have it. There you go. I will be happy to carry it for you. And your pops is going to bring it to you in case you get mad and want to shoot somebody. I, I don't want to be nowhere around. So. <laughs> Alright, we're still working. We're having us a big time today. I have several knives to heat treat. Larry, we got to heat treat yours. Sweating to death. Yeah, it's hot. It's over 90 degrees today. Uh, redneck pepper. There's your new one. That's a very cool thing you did. Thank you for that. <coughs> uh, excuse me, Kevin. That's for you know who. And y'all forgive me, names are running together. There's J. Nell Skinner. Gotta be heat treated. The UPS man didn't come yesterday with my steel. Maybe he'll show up today. So then I'll get on those filet knives. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, Master Sergeant's over here sewing up scabbard for. That's, he's got John's this right now. John's right now, yeah. Yeah, that's just his design, so, like I said, if you don't like it. Tough! Tough! <laughs> Alright, 
I'll add one more little clip on here in a little while. All right, let's take a look. This is Sunday morning, just after daylight. The knife shop is closed today. I thought I'd stop in here and show y'all finished product, Chris. There you go. Now you can carry that on your belt if you want to. And not much chance of that falling out of there. That's why it's in there so deep. And down here, that opening on each one of them is a drain hole in case you get catfishing in the rain. I don't know if you've ever done that before. <laughs> All right, regular dude John, there you go. Same thing, got your drain hole. You have a straight stitch on yours. And I believe that is a running run chain stitch. Master Sergeant made both of these for y'all. Same with yours. Belt loop. All right. I'll send these out tomorrow. Y'all use them. See what you think. And I just went out and looked at the garden. That's where I'm headed now. I've got that camera up. I've got more peas ready. I've got green beans ready. I've got tomatoes, squash, and whatever else I find out there. So I've got a full day of garden work, or at least a half a day. When I get done with that, I got to fix the lawnmower. Because it's starting to look like a jungle around here. And I'm sure something else will need fixing. So, time to get to it. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for your support. And I will see you later.